When it comes to choosing a firearm for home defense, the CZ Scorpion stands out as an excellent option for several reasons. Before we get into those reasons, let's talk a little bit about the firearm first. This is my personal CZ Scorpion. I run this as my home defense gun, and we'll kind of go through this a bit before we actually get into the reasons why I chose it, just so I can kind of show you my setup. This one is also mirrored a little bit off of the one from Grantham's video. I really like what uh, the way his was looking and the functionality look to it, and the trigger as well as the trigger spring pack that he was recommending. So to start off, this is in the pistol configuration as you can see by the brace on the back here. This also has a QD swivel on the back as well as one I put on the front. For, so if I wanted to put a sling on here, it's so one I was carrying it around. I swapped out the grip to the Magpul grip. I like it's got a little bit more aggressive grip texture to it. It helps while shooting. I kept the original safety selector on here on both sides. I really don't have an issue with those. Um, I put in the forward theta trigger as well as the spring weight reduction pack from HB Industries into the CZ Scorpion. It makes the shooting a significantly better experience from that 9.5, 10.5 pound that come from the factory to right around like 5, 5.5 pounds. This is, in my opinion, one of the most important upgrades you can do and it's also one of the cheapest. I left the bolt release and the mag release the same. As factory, I have no issues with those. I haven't found any issues to change it, so I'm just going to keep it how it is. I run the 35 round Magpul magazines here for home defense. If I'm running it as a backpack gun, I swap it to the 20 round to keep some 35s in the bag just in case. I kept the factory iron sights on there. I don't have any issues with those. I actually really like them, as well as I can actually see the irons through the bottom of the riser mount for my Sig Romeo 5. So if this were to go down, I can just duck my head a little bit and then I have irons ready to go. Another thing on this optic, you've probably seen my other video about it. I run one on my personal SHTF rifle. I haven't had a single issue with these things. This one I got about four years ago. It's been going strong since. I have an Odin pressure pad here attached to my Odin Olight Mini for my weapon light. Uh, if you're going to have a home defense gun, whether it's a handgun, rifle, shotgun, no matter what it is, you, you need to have a light. Next, I left the factory charging handle on there. I actually really like this. I'll think about getting one of the folding ones, but so far I'm just sticking with what I got. I put a HB Industries handguard in here. I will put a link to it as well. I forgot which one it is, but so far compared to the factory uh, handguard that the CZ Scorpion comes with, this is way better. It looks better. It feels better. It's easier to attach stuff to. This is another essential upgrade if I were to get another CZ Scorpion. Next, I have a Take this guy off. A Yankee Hill R9, one of the one half by 28 9 millimeter quick attach muzzle devices on here. I went with this instead of direct thread because I wanted to be able to quickly switch my suppressor from my home defense gun to my SHTF rifle just in case if something were to happen. And it's just honestly, it's just easier. It just makes life a little bit easier. Then this is my Yankee Hill R9 suppressor as a 9 millimeter can. I can get more in depth with it. If you'd like, this is an awesome suppressor. So the first reason I went with the CZ Scorpion EVO 3S1 for home defense is the versatility of the firearm itself. This firearm was originally designed as a submachine gun for close quarters combat. It was designed around the nine millimeter round and uses a direct blowback system similar to a handgun. I have put a, a little over a thousand rounds through this with suppressed and unsuppressed and I haven't had a single malfunction through it. Doesn't mean I won't have it in the future, but so far I'm very impressed with this firearm. Reason number two, it's the low recoil. As you can see here, here's a, a quick video off to the side of me shooting. With its blowback operation and low recoil, the CZ Scorpion offers a very manageable recoil. This is incredibly easy to shoot. I would hand this to anybody that's shooting for the first time and they would find this very comfortable to shoot. Reason number three are the customization options. One of the strengths of the CZ Scorpion is the extensive range of customization that you can get for this. As you can see from my firearm here, this isn't exactly how it comes from the factory. I've shown you a ton of things that I've swapped out with this and kind of personalized it how I wanted it. But you can have different colors on here if you want, you can have different type of grips, triggers, uh, trigger string packs, different lights, anything that's, you know, M-Lock or Picatinny whatever you want to put on that you can. Reason number four is going to be the magazine capacity. As you can see, I have a 35 round magazine in here. This makes it so in a high stress situation, if you know, I might not be as accurate as I would be, you know, sitting on the flat range shooting, I have more chances to be able to stop a threat or stop a negative situation and then have ammo left over. So having 35 rounds instead of, you know, seven, six or seven for double out buck for a shotgun, even though double out buck, 
and with the shotgun has a lot more power behind it, this is more chances for me to stop the threat or fix the problem that is going on. Reason number five is going to be the reliability. The CZ Scorpion was designed to the Czech military standards to be a submachine gun for close quarters combat with multiple fire rate capabilities. From the semi-automatic that we get with the CZ Scorpion Evo 3S1, the one that was designed for the Czech military, the A1, also has three round bursts and full auto capabilities. This firearm is renowned for its reliability and ease of use. With shooting that 9mm cartridge, using it for a home defense firearm, in my opinion, is really a no-brainer. In conclusion, the CZ Scorpion Evo 3S1 offers a winning combination of versatility, low recoil, magazine capacity, customization options, and reliability. What did you think about running a CZ Scorpion Evo 3S1 as a home defense gun? Would you go with this or would you go with something else? Let me know in the comments down below.